Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. Hey, on this one here, I uh, did a uh, uh, a maintenance or a cleaning on a train XL1200. Now, there was a rod unit sitting right beside it. I went there on a Saturday and I cleaned the four, four condensing units. I just picked up this account last year. And um, these air conditioners were never cleaned for years, you know. They had bought them back in, back in the day, and they just never clean them, never maintenance, no nothing. They just run them until they until they break. So I picked up this account, and I go over there, and I take it all apart. And, and the train unit was, like, loaded with dirt, uh, like three-quarters of an inch all the way around, packed in there. The, the flipping leaves got in there and turned to dirt type of thing. Now, you figure the way the top is on a train XL uh, 1200 that, you know, leaves wouldn't be able to get in because it's got a flat top on, its, on the top. And the way it, the, you know... It comes up and out the sides, but no, that thing was had a lot of stuff on there. I was surprised how much debris was inside that unit, the way it was made. A very nice, I like to train uh, XL uh, 1200. That's a nice unit. Very nice. But anyway, you know, the maintenance is very important. And uh, on this one here, I got a coil gun I use for cleaning uh, the condensing units. But this one here, I use a pump sprayer and um, kind of experimenting with the pump sprayer and, and seeing how I like it. And, it, you know... If I would have put it on a little heavier, it would have foamed up better. But it was good. You know, it got the job done. And I rinsed them off really good before I hit it with the with the cleaner. And uh, there was a, a uh, rud unit on the side. I did, I'll did. i probably do a video on that one also. But I couldn't put them both together because it was just too long. But anyway, um, you know, nothing special. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's, you know, I just wanted to show you how dirty it was. It was pretty bad. And I'm going to go back on a warm day, and i got to check the charge on a warm day. They weren't there on a Saturday. And um, when I go back, I'm going to check the capacitors and the contactors. And if they're bad, I'll change them out. i got all that stuff right on my truck, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, guys, man, thanks for watching. First thing I'll make you show you disconnect power if the unit is off. <clears throat> got the top off. Top just kind of clips on with clips. I will um, disconnect the top and there's a lot of leaves and muck down inside there. I gotta get all that out. Pretty nasty in there. Someone's been chewing on stuff. It looks like a mouse or something. We'll have to clean that all out good. <clears throat> I'll disconnect all these wires here and get this out of here. Take this cabinet all apart and give it a good cleaning. I got the side off. Look at the build up in there. It's really a lot. That's a lot. I'm gonna take all the sides off. This one side might be tough to get off, but I'll do the best I can with it. 
I'll probably disconnect this side and get it out of the way, but once I get it all off, I'll give it a good cleaning. It's pretty bad. Probably never been cleaned. Got all these trees, all this stuff falls and drops in there. Alright, I got all my side panels off. This one panel I couldn't take off all the way. But I got enough slack on it. Uh, I'll be alright with leaving this control panel here. I'll work around that. I'm gonna get my vacuum out and vacuum everything good first before I hit it with the, the coil cleaner. brushing the holes to get all that shit out of there. I want to get big stuff first. Have to get that with the holes caked in there.
question of the day. Why do you wear gloves? I like the blue color on my hands. <laughs> Unbelievable. Never been cleaned. Lack of maintenance. Lack of maintenance. This unit all scraped out, ready to hook, ready to be hosed down. I'll blow the rest of that little stuff out with the hose, and then I'll hit it with the coil cleaner. I'm gonna try in a spray bottle. Before before I do that, I'm gonna take this other one apart, so I could do both of these units at once with the uh, the coil cleaner. Trying out the sprayer. It mixed it four to one, like it said on the bottle, so we'll try it. I already sprayed this one. sit for a while and see what happens. They say it uses less cleaner. Not that I'm too concerned about the cleaner, but as long as the coil gets clean, that's all I care about. Top all clean. 
hit it all with coil cleaner and then hit it with the hose. A lot better than it was, I'll tell you that much. A lot better than it was. Let the breeze out of there. I'm gonna come back on a warm day. Um, there's no one in the building today. I'm gonna come back on a warm day and um, you know I'll check all the capacitors and check the charge and you know check the relays if they need to be changed, I'll change them. Right now I'm just concentrating on getting them all cleaned and um, ready to run. Got it all back together, I just have to put the uh, cabinet back in the base, the excess port. Like I said, I'll be back on a warm day where I could check, run the unit, check the charge, capacitors and whatnot. Alright, put all the electrical back. Put the fan. Make sure everything's where it needs to be. Get all the clips on, ready for the top to go on. I just put this back on the top and be done. Yeah, nice unit, this train. XL 2000, 1200. Nice unit. Very nice. Well, it's all clean. Don't look like I did much, but man, that thing was filthy. Nice unit. Very nice.